The Cape Fear River is part of the fall zone, where the foothills give way to the coastal plains. The Raven Rock itself, the Raven Rock State Park, is at the corner of the Piedmont region, the coastal region, and then also the Sand Hills region of North Carolina. They all kind of come together here. So it's a big variety of different ecosystems in the park, and that's what makes it also a really significant area. And this is a section where the coastal plain comes in and it meets the Piedmont region, and the water from the river and, the, and also the, the wind that comes off of the river kind of has sculpted Raven Rock to be a nice, really steep cliff that kind of overhangs. When you walk under it, you're actually kind of walking under an area that doesn't even get a lot of rain because it blocks the rainfall. So the river's sculpted it, so has uh, the wind and all. The 150-foot cliff itself, Raven Rock, uh, is our most popular feature. That's on a two and a half mile loop trail that folks love to hike. Be warned, there's probably around 130 steps or so to get down to and back up from the cliffs. In all, there are about 20 miles of hiking trails ranging from easy to moderate. What a lot of our folks and our visitors say when they come and visit is that they find that they can experience the fill of the mountains. Uh, one person once said it, Raven Rock is like a little piece of the mountains brought in and dropped. So we've got some small waterfall areas when the, when the water's right after a good rain. We've also got uh, some nice rapids that folks like to paddle in. There's a total of 16 campsites, all primitive, about two, two and a half mile backpack into those sites. Or you can paddle in. We have six canoeing campsites. We have five group campsites. Those are all accessible by river, by boat. With the canoe and camping, you definitely want to make sure you get a site in advance because you don't want to paddle to the park expecting to find a campsite available and there not be one available. Um, you can only camp in designated spots in the state park system. And always check water levels and conditions before getting on the river. Uh, folks are also in the summertime now really enjoying playing in the river, coming out and enjoying that as well. With the difference in ecosystems in the park, we have a lot of birds, a lot of unique birds that come to this area and nest. Uh, there's also a large variety of birds, especially for those that enjoy birding. You'll find an abundance of picnic tables and shelters, and the visitor center exhibits tell about the geological and human history of the region and of life along the Cape Fear River, the series of locks, dams, and ferries used to navigate the river. So get out to Raven Rock for a great escape to nature, to refresh, to get into the zone, albeit the fall zone, but in the zone nonetheless, along the Cape Fear River and the cliffs of Raven Rock State Park. Raven Rock State Park is at 3009 Raven Rock Road in Lillington. And like all our state parks, it's open every day except Christmas. For more information, give the park a call at 910-893-4888 or go online to ncparks.gov.